Here we go. Gold medal match, our final Sabre gold medal match for this 2022 season. So line up for Romania, Cassian Sidu, Radu Nitu, Minye Enosh, Marco Savar in reserve. For Italy, it is Lorenzo Taviani, Eduardo Cantini, Pietro Torre, and Giorgio Marciano in reserve. Referees for this match tonight, Basil Malenchev, Reza Pekarara of Iran, Abdus Samet Arslan of Turkey, and Konstantin Gretsev of Puerto Rico, I guess. All right, so. Ottaviani Cantini Torre to start. It will be Torre to open for Italy, Torre to close. For Romania, it will be Anosh to open, Nitu Radu, or Radu Nitu to close. And. That's the lineup. How did they get here? Yeah, I hear you ask. Well, Italy was 14th seed and knocked off third seed Japan, which put Italy in the third spot. They faced France in the quarterfinals, defeated them, and then faced Spain in the semifinals, and that's how they got here. Now, Romania was the number 12 seed, and in the table of 16, knocked out number five, Poland, which gave them a matchup in the quarterfinals against Singapore, and then in the semifinals against uh, Egypt, well, they just played a blinder, and, and here they are, fighting for a gold medal. So, Pietro Torre up first against Enosh, and let's see how this goes. The, the Romanian team is, they are very strong. And they don't put up with much nonsense, but this is Italy. Trading hits to open. Attack right. No challenge. Oh. Nothing on that first exchange and then Ramiz from Anosh, quick thinking. That attack from Torre is through. And another Torre attack. Another Torrid Torre attack. Torre takes a step back. Attack fails. But Anosh with a, a nice plunge there. Level things up. Card coming out for Enosh. Indeed, going early. Well, it is Italy taking us out of the first leg, 5-4, but um, Lorenzo. 
Romania holding their ground in that opening salvo. It will be Lorenzo Ottaviani on for Italy in the second and Radu Nitu for Romania. Strong parry there from Ottaviani. Nitu gets his first. Ottaviani goes looking for the blade there. Uh, both fencers pleading their case, lobbying. Reza Pecorara goes to the scoring table to have a look of his own volition. What does he have to say? Attack right. A little too much preparation from Nitu. No. Right. And still need his attack. Taviani to close this out of the second. Five for him and four for Nitu. So 10-8. We go into the third and it will be Eduardo Cantini for Italy, Cassian Sidu for Romania. Still, Sidu's attack. <laughs> attack affair. And we are level. Preparation, Sidu. A lovely attack there from Cantini. And a preparation, Cantini. Uh, are they going to challenge? Attack there from Sidu. And another. Yep. Preparation right. Sidhu looking for the blade. Sidhu 
looking to find a way up off the floor. There's a scoreboard between that section of the piece where he went off and me, so I didn't initially know that he'd tumbled away. Okay. Well, that will take us out of the third. Some bright spots in there for Romania, but it is Cantini. So five for Cantini, five for Sidhu. And we go into the fourth. Ottaviani back on for Italy, Enosh for Romania. 15-13. Yeah, and I was searching for the blade in all the wrong places. and we're level again. asking for a video review. <laughs> they both stepped in and stopped. And Ottaviani picked up the attack. And a nice long attack there from Lorenzo Ottaviani. Woo. A finish with a flourish. And Five for Ottaviani, four for Enosh, and a net loss for Romania of one in that leg. We go to the fifth. Pietro Torri on for Italy. Cassian Sidu on for Romania. And Sidu needs to pull some points back for Romania, but Torri with the parry right off the bat. And a big, long attack. Back through there and Tori asking for a video review. stands. Attack left. Oh. 
big parry there from Torre. That's just kicking the door a little wider for Italy. Twenty-five, eighteen, five for Torre. One in that fifth leg for Sidu. And that was pretty much the last thing that Romania needed. Okay, we go into the sixth. Cantini back on for Italy to face Radu Nitu. And if Romania wants to have any hope of a gold medal tonight. They need to get to work on it right now. That's a start. Well, Pecoraro was going to make a call, then headed for the video. Then Vasil Malenchev spoke. And the call was preparation Cantini. And then a big, big flunge from Radu Nitu, who is not a small lad. But Nitu goes looking for the blade. And Cantini is through. Well, Pecorara walks over to Malenchev and says, what do you think? And <laughs> that's Malenchev's like, I don't know. Final action, Perry. Need to. Preparation left. Cantini maintaining that Nitu, Nitu's attack went into the guard. Let's see if we can tell from that. It's hard to say. Well, I assume that they didn't think it did go into the guard. <laughs> Attack right and It's an 8-1 run for Radonitu. Nitu lost control of his weapon. See what the referee sees on the replay. They both step in and then Nitu's reprise. A well needed parry from Cantini. Nitu just, just going to 
looking for the blade. right we're level at 29 Romania came in seven down in this leg. They go out one up. A massive collapse for Italy in, in the sixth. 12 points for Radonitu. Four in that for Cantini. Oh, Lordy. That's got a sting. Ottaviani on in the seventh. Sidu for Romania. And Sidu picks up where Nitu left off. Ottaviani's got to mount a challenge here. And Sharpish. I think Mr. Malenchev has had enough. Uh, they're, they're, I'm surprised they're, well, it, it was, they've been told not to move on the line. Attack now from the right. Attack now from the right. his socks up. Taviani. Attack no right. Okay, attack. Sorry, attack. No, left. I didn't. I got my directions all right. So we've got a video review. He's giving this a good long look. Attack now from the left. That ends the seventh. 35-31, Romania. So, five there for Sidu. Two for Ottaviani.
So Ottaviani, C plus one, plus two. Ends on a minus one indicator. C2 on a plus three. Cantini on to try and rescue things for Italy in the eighth and penultimate leg. And Osh has to hold his ground. Vassal Melendjev is about to What a plunge. Let's see if we get a replay on that. Uh, well, I guess we... Well, I can't tell if he just got a whip around. Or he hit his elbow. That's something you just have to shake off. That's what Malinchik said. Sorry, do you need a medic or a touch? Here we go. Eighth and penultimate leg. Anosh again. With a big plunge. Again, through on the attack. Cantini with with a parry there. Anosh. Yep, parry there for Cantini. And an attack from Cantini. Oh. Oh, and Osh looking for the parry. And after a disastrous sixth leg, Cantini is restoring some luster. Oh, what an eighth leg. Eight for. We go to the ninth and final leg. Pietro Torre on for Italy. Radu Nitu for Romania. It's all down to this for the gold medal. Attack left. Well, 
If Romania wants a gold medal, they're going to have to stiffen their resolve. Preparation. Need to. Cantini finishes on a minus five. Anosh finishes on a minus five. Preparation. Uh, uh, Tori suggesting again that uh, Nitu went into the guard. Well, it matters not. 45-41, all the opportunities were there for Romania. They couldn't drag it across the line. Only one in that ninth leg for Nitu, Radu Nitu. Six for Pietro Torre and Italy, our junior men's saber team, world champion. 2022 silver medal silver medal for Romania